Connecticut's John Craven has been following this story all day. So, John, how are they both doing this evening? Well, Roxanne, the lieutenant governor says she has no symptoms, and Governor Lamont says he's feeling a lot better after taking antiviral pills. But the growing cases are leading to growing concerns. At the state capitol, COVID cases keep coming. I'm feeling fine, and I have been working from home. Now, Lieutenant Governor Susan Bysowitz is recovering. You put sweat equity, not just money. She appeared with Governor Lamont last Wednesday, one day before he tested positive. The governor says he's been taking the antiviral Paxlovid. I think the only person who sees as many people over the course of a week than I do is uh, Susan Bysowitz. So tough to say where he came from. But it's not just top leaders. <laughs> Representative Palm votes yes. Chester lawmaker Christine Palm struggled to vote during a Judiciary Committee meeting. And I apologize to everybody. Obviously, I have COVID. State lawmakers head back to Hartford on Wednesday. Masks will remain optional on the House floor. Speaker Matt Ritter says we have safeguards in place. For instance, members can vote from their offices instead of entering the House chamber to balance caution with the need to get our work done before the legislative session ends. This all comes as dozens of top lawmakers in Washington caught COVID and an unmasked dinner last week. I'm ready to get out and uh, see people again. As for the governor, he plans to resume public events later this week. Will he be masked? Let me think about that. I mean, obviously, if you're in close contact with people, I think uh, the rule is clear. If I'm standing in front of a group with a little bit of distance, I maybe don't have to wear the mask. Well, Governor Lamont says he tested negative today. So far, no one who appeared with him in the last week, including his staff, has caught COVID. In the newsroom, John Craven, News 12, Connecticut.